By accomplishing your Toastmaster objectives, you will become a more successful leader and communicator. And I believe that's why we joined Toastmasters. Now there's another organization that according to the movie has been around since the beginning of time. And that organization also has a mission statement. <laughs> <laughs> the Minions mission statement is the human brain starts working the minute we are born. And it doesn't stop until we stand up to speak in public. <laughs> <laughs> so are you a minion or a Toastmaster? Today I'm going to go over the different Toastmaster roles. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to organize yourself for the role that you'll have every meeting. How to engage once you've gotten the opportunity to execute your role, and how this will bring success to you as a communicator and a leader. Let's start at the top of the role list. And I made myself a little list here because my slides are not working. One of the most important roles that we have in Toastmasters is the greeter. The greeter is the first person that people usually meet when they come to a Toastmasters meeting. And that role of greeter is to greet the guest, to get a little bit of information about the guest, and then the engagement part of that role is to stand up and tell us briefly the guests that we have in the room. We also assign to the greeter the responsibility of bringing our nourishment and food because one of the responsibilities of the greeter is to get here early. If you have trouble getting to the meeting on time, you need to talk with the scheduler and maybe make sure that you have a good meeting that you can be greeter at. A meeting that you know you have plenty of time to get up that morning get going, you don't have a lot of obligations at home or work. So the first role we have walking in that door is guest room. Our meeting starts and the chairperson comes up and this is the engagement role. There's not a lot of organization that goes into this. It's total engagement. When you hit the gavel, you need to be sure that everyone in the room is engaged with you. We do our pledge, we do our cheer, and we have our announcement. But that's the engagement role. The most important role, I think, because it has the largest area of organization, is our Toastmaster. That starts the week before we get our schedule, and then there's the emails, the filling in of roles, and we used to have this rule that if you accept a role and then something comes up in the week and you can't do that role, you need to find a substitute. But since we have such a great email chain, that responsibility is kind of fallen to the postmaster and I think that's really okay because if you can't do your role, obviously something's come up and you're a pretty busy person. <clears throat> Engagement as the Toastmaster, you have the whole room constantly looking, making sure everything's going as planned and organized. The next two roles that are really important, and they're like many Toastmasters, are General Evaluator and our Table Topics person. They have a certain segment of the meeting where they are in charge. They get to call on people, they get to do timers reports, and it's a total engagement role, but it also takes organization. You need to know who your evaluators are. As a table topics master, you need to get those questions or scenarios together that you're going to ask. 